Hello, my name is Steven Alvarado. I'm from San Quintero Parish in Santa Clarita, California. And this is my first year here at the Queen of Angels Center of Peace and Formation. And growing up, um, I wasn't raised Catholic in the sense of like being homegrown, but I wasn't um, Christian either. I was almost unaware of this world where God was there. But somehow, my grandparents on my dad's side, growing up, Christmas and Easter, we would always go to um, a church in the valley. And since my sisters and I were raised and taught about the faith or anything, um, we liked going to, to, to church growing up. And I didn't know it was Mass at the time. But we would always kneel in front of our Blessed Mother, uh, Our Lady Guadalupe image. And there was something about that image that got my attention. You know, it tugged at my heart that I felt connected for some reason. And uh, fast forward several years, I was about now nine. Um, I was um, living with my biological mom before we were taken away and went to go live with my great aunt and uncle. And uh, they were very devout Catholics. And they, they brought my sisters and I to uh, Mass um, outside of just Christmas and Easter. And the first time I ever was intrigued at the Mass itself was when I first attended All Saints Day Mass. And it wasn't just because the priest was wearing a different color or something was different. Obviously, it was different because it was the Mass. But... What got my attention, though, was St. Francis of Assisi. Um, I was intrigued. I didn't know who it was at the time. But then I asked uh, my dad, or my grand-uncle at the time, he, he told me a little bit about his story. And I was very into it. I, was re I really liked it. And, and I also liked his image. So I wanted to go learn more. And the more that I looked into his, his life, from early life to ministry, to the works he's done, I was very intrigued and I wanted to do something just like him. So as a result of it, my parents later put me and my sister in RCIA since we weren't baptized. And after two years of being in RCIA, I was baptized and was confirmed on April 19, 2014 at Easter Vigil. And it was a very memorable day. And, um, from that day and even a little bit before, um, I was an altar server, an usher, and a volunteer at uh, for the Ministry of Hospitality at our hall. And during this time as well, I had a small call in my heart to do service, to help God's people in a sense. And I really like helping at the parish. There was no, no other place I liked going. Uh, instead of the church. It was always there all the time on Sundays and, and some, even on Saturdays and any other events we had during the week. And when it came to junior high, uh, towards the end of junior high into uh, high school, uh, I was starting to back out of my faith a little bit, having more doubts because my mom felt ill, um, things were just chaotic, and I thought the world was just spiraling out of control. But then um, we pray to our Blessed Mother, Our Lady Guadalupe, promising that if she can help us, show us some sort of sign that she and Jesus is there in our lives to, you know, help my mom and help us uh, with our lives and, you know, guide us in the right path, um, we'll, we'll make a, a pilgrimage down to Mexico City, to the Basilica in Mexico City, and... Um, shortly after when mom went to surgery and they told us all the risks and such, she was in ICU for quite a while. But then we, we, we re repeated our promise, asking for their guidance and help, and this time not just for guidance on the right path, but healing especially. And the doctors said that my mom was improving so fast that she was able to um, come out of the ICU four weeks early. And because she came out four weeks early, my dad and I, and including my sisters and my mom, we saw this as a miracle um, because we were always praying the rosary on our trips to L.A. to visit my mom daily. And even though we had school, we would do 
our homeschooling work, even at the hospital, to be with my mom. And because of this, uh, we went down to Mexico City, we went to the Basilica, and we gave our thanks um, to our Blessed Mother. And this increased uh, my relationship with her from just knowing her from growing up to now devoting my life because of her. And um, I would play as a priest and I always like having her image there as well. And by the time I got to like midway through high school, I was already asked a bunch of times and I still didn't know quite how to answer it. But who or what do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to do after high school? What do you want to be uh, once you finish school? Like, who are you going to be in the world? And you always have the typical answers. I want to be a chef. I want to be an astronaut. I want to be an actor. But for me, I, I always wanted to be an astronaut, an engineer, or something. But those things that I liked to, so I could become those things were very temporary, very small things for me. But the only thing that I had big in my heart that I loved the most was the church. I know there was a lot more to learn. I knew that there are a lot more responsibilities, but I was willing to learn more and to be more, to be with the church. So um, I, I just learned more on becoming a priest. And then by the time I graduated, I uh, contacted Father Sam Ward, who was at the time a former uh, director of vocations for the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. And uh, I, I attended discernment group meetings to you know, further deepen um, this discernment process before entering here. And then uh, I was given the application, the chance to apply to the Queen of Angels Center. And after I applied and um, they accepted me and now this is where I've been for the last eight, eight and a half months or so. And because of this, I've also learned a lot uh, about the faith, um, done ministries that I've never done before, and as well, grown deeper in my relationship with our Blessed Mother, um, but also strengthening very much in Christ, who's always been present there, even when I don't even notice it. And because of this, um, as I continue on for me, I, I, I do encourage for more prayer as I continue to pray for you guys. And uh, I want to thank you as well for the many, many people who's been praying for vocations um, and, and thank you for your prayers as well. So thank you and God bless.